rumor has it, rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I am gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. On The Breakfast Club. Now, Barack Obama was doing an interview and he was asked about a comment the former first lady made, Michelle Obama, when she did an interview. I think she sat down with, I'm trying to think who was part of that interview. Angie Martinez was there. Kelly Rowland was there. Yeah, I definitely know it was Angie Martinez. It was for, it was for a vote. Yeah, yeah, it was for a vote. I can't, was leading it. I can't think who else was there. Oh, I don't I'm remember. sorry for, the, for, for, for those sisters. But she talked about how she couldn't stand Barack Obama for like 10 years. People think I'm being catty by saying this. It's like there were... 10 years. Well, I couldn't stand my husband. Yeah. You, you know? do say that. You <laughs> 10 long years. years. And guess when it happened? When those kids were little, right? Yeah. Right? Because, you know, you can be all great individually when, you, when you're just married. You got your life. He's got his. You come together. It's all, ooh, good to see you. Bye. Take it easy. <laughs> and then you have kids. Not take it easy. Take it easy. You're traveling. That's great. Good. I get to hang, hang out and watch the TV I want to watch. Right. But the minute we had kids, it was like, where are you going? <laughs> and how far? And you start measuring. It's like, how many diapers did you change? And, oh, you're golfing? Oh, you got time? Oh, you got time to golf? <laughs> <laughs> How you at the gym all the time? Right. Well, Barack Obama, he responded to, to when she did that interview. And uh, this is what he said. It sure helps to be out of the White House uh, <laughs> and uh, to, to have a little more time with her. You know, what also helps, though, about children. And yeah. I don't know about your spouse. When our girls were growing up, that was priority number one, two, three and four. Of course. So I, I, I did not fully appreciate I think, hmm. as, as engaged of a father as I was. The degree of stress and tension for her, knowing that not just me and Michelle were under scrutiny and in this strange environment, just wasn't normal. Now that they're doing good, you know, she uh, is a little more forgiving of all, all my flaws. <laughs> uh, she, she says, you know, what she's told me is, you know, looking back, you did okay as a dad. He did okay. That's I mean, what. he was president for eight years. That's not like a, a regular job. Not at he's all. the president of the United States of America, the leader of the free world. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Well, they celebrate can their 31st anniversary. Can, 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 can I get a little grace for that? Maybe. <laughs> Just a little bit. You ain't changed the pampers, though. I mean, damn. Mm. Well, yeah. like I said, they celebrate. to change policy and legislation. I don't got time to change Look, pampers right now. change the pampers. Lord have mercy. You ain't take a you, you didn't teach baby girl how to how to hit a softball either. Damn. All right. Well, like I said, they celebrate their thirty first anniversary in October. Now this clip was running around crazy yesterday, and people really thought this was Jerry Springer. Well, it wasn't, but they thought it was true. Learned of your arrival, Misha, and demanded that I cut you off completely. I tried to reason with her, but she threatened to expose my infidelity and my illegitimate children. And I was such a coward. I didn't know how to stand to my truth and stand up to my wife. I did, however, manage to stand up for you, John and Misha. While Joan kept me away from you with a threat of exposure, she did not keep me from providing for you. The rest of my estate, my properties in Mississippi, Georgia, South Carolina, my bank accounts, investment portfolios, all liquid and intangible assets, everything, all of it will go to my children, John and Misha. Now, if you don't know, he uh, act like People thought it was real. He act like he did a will on on his Zoom, and he mm-hmm. had his uh, kids on Zoom. But he also had two kids that were biracial that he had outside his marriage. And what he told his kids was he was leaving his kids pretty much nothing and leaving his biracial kids everything. And it went it went crazy on social media, but it wasn't true. I, I thought it was real too. I came in here yesterday like, man, we need to have a conversation about this, and then come to find out it wasn't real. Yeah, it wasn't real. It was something that he did. Oh, but I, you know, I thought about it like, damn, Jerry Springer for his his last hurrah wanted to give one more spoof, one more joke before he left, which was crazy. But this was something that he did in 2020 that they put out now. And y'all think uh, we can handle Chat GPT and AI when mm-hmm. we don't even know that a video was that was made two years ago? Isn't mm-hmm. isn't what isn't what they told us told us what it was this week? Mm-mm. And we on, keep man. getting fooled by the um, internet. Remember, it was something else that happened with um, everybody thought it was real, and everybody was making a bit fuss about it, and kind of find out they made it up. That sounds like something that happens every day, every yeah, day, every real, day. I just can't think of the um, the situation, but it do happen every day. Well, as I said, the lines of uh, reality have already been blurred on the internet. Mm-hmm. Now with AI and Chat GPT, they about to be obliterated. Yes, we ain't gonna know what's real and what's not real. Mm, mm, mm. That, that's, this is crazy. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Well, that is your rumor report. And also, I just want to say salute to uh, four, four two Doug. Uh, shout out to Detroit. Uh, right now, he's in jail, and he said he needs an attorney. He's looking for some help. He said he's in jail for uh, going to the gun range, uh, which was a violation of his parole. He said, I didn't hurt anybody. He says, man, I'm in this itch, heating my food up with water from the nasty-ass shower. He said, they don't give us no hot water to heat food up. Ain't no micro uh, microwave. I can't get no visits from my family. Nothing. I'm sure they're going to uh, do some more illegal-ish, but... I was supposed to die in this itch for probation violation. So he's asking if anybody out there can help. He's trying to make, a, you know, make this aware so that he can get help. So if you can, you know, support 42 Doug, if you're an attorney that can help his family out or help his people out, because I, I really don't know. So mm. salute to that brother, 42 Doug. Dang, All right. Yeah, free him. And that is your rumor report. Now, when we come back, we got the People's Choice Mix. Get your request in 800-585-1051. Our co-host, Erica Duchess, is here. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.